Hey guys, Gamer Mania here. Uh, today we're going to go ahead and get into some Sun and Moon versus Sword and Shield. So uh, we're going to see with um, two. I don't, I don't like that. Uh, that's okay, that's normal. Um, so we're going to get into two Crimson Invasion packs versus two Sword and Shield packs. Um, the bottom side packs are from blisters, and the top ones up here are from a booster box, or I'm sorry, not a booster box, a uh, trainer box that I opened, and these Crimson Invasion are from a trainer box. So we're going to see if we can get uh, better pulls today from just two packs of Crimson Invasion, or better pulls from two packs of Sword and Shield, and of course we'll get into our Burning Shadows pack for the day. So we're going to go ahead and crack into this, and actually we're going to go ahead and get into these last two evolutions uh, Dollar Tree packs as well because I want to see if I can get anything out of these. So we'll start with these Dollar Tree packs and uh, see if we can get anything out of these and then we'll do the Sun and Moon versus Sword and Shield. Alright, so we start with a nice dark energy and a coughing and a Magikarp. So nothing crazy in that one. So our last little Dollar Tree pack here for um, Evolutions. I like evolutions for the you know the base set feel without having base set packs. Um, so I kind of wanted to get through these last two that I had. Uh, so we have a Weedle, a Kakuna, and a uh, Tangela. Okay, so all the all the evolutions packs we opened from the little Dollar Tree ones were uh, no hits. So we're gonna go ahead and get into our Crimson Invasion. And our sword and shield. So we'll start with the new, uh, new set sword and shield. Well, newish, of course, since February seventh. And now uh, we'll see if we can get some pulls out of that. I need to start hiding the color of the code cards from you guys. So um, we'll go ahead and get into some sword and shield. And we'll get rid of the. Okay, that's funny. The dark energy. And so here we have a mantine. We have the crushing hammer. A switch. Krabby, a Galarian Zigzagoon. It looked like it had the reverse hollow pattern on it to me because they're a little hard to tell with the reverse hollows with the uh, darkness. Um, so we'll move on to the Gossiflor, a Silicobra, another Krabby, a reverse Chinchow, and the rare. Oh, look at that. Okay, so Sword and Shield starts off good. Uh, Lapras V Max. So that's a good one. We'll go ahead and sleeve that up. Just because it is a nice full art and VMAX card. So Sword and Shield, go ahead and take off the, uh, well, takes off with the pulls. And we'll move on to our Crimson Invasion. Hopefully we can get something crazy out of some Crimson Invasion. If I can get that out without showing it. So there is Code Card. And we will go through the front because it's this sun and moon and get rid of okay what all right three darkness energies today back to back all right so we start with an alolan graveler a Sinchino, peaking red card a mischievous oh that's not okay i pulled it straight up oh man i'm sorry about that guys if you guys saw that um so we have the spoink the houndor jigglypuff execute Ooh, a reverse hydra hydragon and the rare was a holographic Gengar. So, oh, that's a nice holographic pattern. And that's uh, that's pretty cool. He's standing all shady in the street, you know, because he's a Gengar. So we'll go ahead and put him right there. Not that I don't sleeve my hollows. I just put them in, like, the little penny sleeves when I put them in the binder for each set. And then uh, we'll go ahead and get to this second sword and shield. See if we can get something out of another sword and shield pack. I'm going to pull it out this way so you guys don't see the code card I know you see the first card but uh, there we go in case you guys didn't see that very well there's your code and we will go ahead and do our one two three the front and we will get rid of the leaf energy and we'll kick it off with a Salazzle, Bisharp, Pokemon Catcher, the Yamper, a third Krabby today, Kufant, Baltoy, Salandit, Oh, a reverse drizzle. That's a uh, drizzle or drizz, however you want to say it. That's uh, that's pretty nice. I don't think I have that reverse yet for the master set, so I think that's pretty good. And of course, so a uh, non-holographic rare cloister. So uh, if so, my my version of better pulls would be pull rates. So yes, obviously the 
Lapras VMAX Full Art trumps a holographic Gengar. However, if we get a second good pull out of this, even if it's just a holographic, then Crimson Invasion, in my eyes, wins because it's uh, two pulls. I don't like how that opens. In the least bit. It's just kind of coming apart. Alright, there is Coat Card. And we will go one, two, a three to the front, and we will get rid of the fairy energy. Rest in peace, fairy energy. And we'll start off with a Hakamo, Hakamo'o, a Lusamine, Pillow Swine, not trying to rhyme, three words in a row. Aaron, a Lolan Geodude. We have a Weedle, Skiddo, Skiddo, Starly. Ooh, a Reverse Jangmo'o. That's uh, pretty nice. And a non holographic rare Wigglytuff. So definitely Sword and Shield wins that today for the uh, pack battle between the two sets. Uh, even though that holographic Gengar is really nice, that Lapras VMAX Full Art is uh, pretty pretty dope. So we'll go ahead and get to our Burning Shadows. Um, so you saw last uh, episode yesterday that I showed off the PSA 9 Water Energy that I give the Politoed, but we did use its power yesterday. I don't feel like we should use it today. Um, I think I want to save it every time we open a Hidden Fates because I really want to get something crazy in the Hidden Fates. But uh, Burning Shadows, this came out of the uh, trainer box because it's one of those looser type packs that weren't like attached at the crimps on the seal. Even though they do have the crimp pattern on both sides here, it seems that they're not attached anymore. So hopefully they're not resealed packs. I mean, they don't seem like it. There's no like aftermarket glue or tear marks um, on the packs. So I don't believe they're resealed. They're just probably different. That was actually a little funky. Okay, so there's a code card. Uh, I'll show you guys something I just noticed about the back of it. And these. Okay, that these might be resealed. Um, so, as you can see, the crimp bit into the cards. Um, I did open a pack from the booster box the other day and a pack from uh, this trainer box. And both sets were real cards, so I, I did double check that. So they are real, but that, that bite mark right there from the crimp, I mean, that just <clears throat> doesn't seem like Pokemon would do that. It is all the way throughout the cards. There's one right there that's horrible. Oh my gosh. So these had to have been resealed. Uh, I'm going to check the crimp pattern here in a second. They actually do look like they have a different crimp pattern than... The other ones not at the top though from what i can notice and here's one from the booster box so the crimp patterns do seem to match but and we'll we'll open this one too to double check um but this seems different i'll have to i'll have to check that in a second we'll compare but let's see if we got anything in it um let's go ahead and go three to the front and we'll get rid of our crimped fire energy and we have an Electabuzz, a Simipore, Rotom Dex, Tangela, Dupider, Noibat, ooh, that nice artwork Pikachu, uh, Esper, a Reverse Super Scoop Up, and an Araquanid Non Holographic Rare. So, uh, that, I mean, that irks me a little bit. They're crimped at the top, like the, the teeth marks in it. Um, they are real cards because I did rip one to make sure that it had the. Uh, third layer on the inside um, that's still very bothersome though so we're gonna open this up as well to do a comparison so I got the trainer box at Target uh, I go to Target for pretty much everything um, I, I just like going to Target they seem to have like older stuff there um, there we go okay so there is code card um, they do seem to have like the older stuff there in stock where other people don't um, I don't like how they have um, no Pokemon seals on the trainer boxes at Target. I don't know if they put them on. I've seen them on some trainer boxes, but we'll take a look at this real quick. That does look like the same pattern, so it, it is the same pattern. Just, uh, I mean, the cards being bit into right there, that, I mean, that just tells me it was like perfectly recrimped somehow, or it was just an error, which is highly unlikely. I guess not highly unlikely, but unlikely in a, you know, in a sense. So we, uh, from this, this is from the booster box, so we have a Solrock, a Semipore, 
Bodybuilding Dumbbells, Alolan Grimer, Sneasel, Charmander, Craballer, Meowth, a Tangrowth Reverse, and a Persian Non-Holographic Rare. So, um, I think, yeah, so this one's from the Trainer Box. And then this would be the last pack from the Trainer Box, except for the one I stuck in here midway yesterday. Um, actually, that one's right there. So we're gonna go ahead and finish up these two packs from the trainer box and I mean you can tell from like the packs the packs do seem like fake like the artworks seem kind of fake um, when in comparison to the booster box artworks like you can tell it's darker with like a little more shine to it um, but the cards are real I mean I, I did like so for example this fire energy right um, let me see if it's this fire energy actually yeah so this these two fire energies right here came from two different, uh, this came from the trainer box, this came from the booster box. So I know some people are not going to like this a whole lot, but if you rip this, it has the black line. This is a real card. So this has all three layers for this card. Like there's your first little layer and then it's on that thick cardboard on, in the middle. And then on the back side, it has that third layer. So they are real cards. I think they've just been resealed and like it just these these packs are like throwing me off so we're gonna go ahead and uh, finish up these trainer box packs because I mean they just they're bothering me at this point that that would even be considered a thing to someone like recrimp these but if they recrimped them I mean they would have had to done do it perfectly I mean you can't really tell there's no overlap marks with the crimp you would think that it would you know over crimp the current crimp so there's code card. It doesn't look like this one's been bitten into. And then we will go our three to the front. And then toss this lightning energy. And then we will start off with Lana, so Viper, Tormenting Spray, Ladyba. They feel different when I pull them out of my hand. They feel like they're biting into my fingers a little bit. But I don't see any... Uh, well, actually, yeah, that one, this one actually feels flimsy. Uh, sorry, Mudbray, you're about to get torn in half. So, a Horsea, Venipede, Sandigast, a Reverse, Gyarados. That's actually really nice. And then the Rare is an Electivire, non-holographic graphic rare. Um, so, we're going to check out this Mudbray here in a second after we open this other pack. But, I mean, this Gyarados, like, how would they even reprint, you know, if these were fake? How would they... How would they print a reverse hollow? Like, I actually have a bunch of fake cards um, as reference over in the corner over there. I can bring those out here in a second. Um, this video is probably going to be longer than intended, but, I mean, this is good information right here, so it's good stuff. But the Gyarados looks fine, so I don't think they could print, anyways, like people trying to produce fake cards, I don't think they could print a legitimate, like, well, not legitimate, but like a, uh, a very well-looking reverse hollow like that. I don't think anyone's been able to do that, but this mud braid's about to get torn up because I mean it just it feels so flimsy. I do not like that in the least bit. But it, it feels like it would have that third layer and be a real card. Like uh, without me trying to tear it up. But I have like eight of these mud braids. I know no one likes to see Pokemon cards get torn up, but we're gonna test it. So it does seem like it has that third layer. believe it does like I said I'm sorry guys I know no one likes to watch Pokemon cards get torn up but uh, sacrificing one for the greater good is uh... okay so I mean it does have its layers it just it feels so flimsy and the packs I just don't like how loose they are so we're gonna go ahead and open this last one so I'm not fretting about it later because uh, I don't even want those I don't even want these packs near my booster box packs over there and I think every single one of these has been a green code card. And like, look, like the corner is well bent on this one, uh, if it'll focus right. Like that corner is well bent. You see that reflection right there? So, I mean, in general, like they can't be that not taken care of. And I'll, I'll admit the booster boxes, or the, the trainer boxes, I mean, they did seem like um, they were packaged kind of weird. Like some of the packs were in the very bottom and they weren't like stacked well. So these may have been repackaged, and I'm pretty upset about that. Um, so Simiseer, Porygon 2, Charmeleon, Pansage, Stuffle, Meowth, Brawler, Charmander. Is that 
okay, we're gonna go over that in a second. A reverse Noibat and the non holographic rare Crabromitable. And uh, so we're gonna go over what I just saw in this Charmander. And he has some ink up here. See that? That is, uh, I know the camera probably doesn't pick it up too well. It looks a little dark on the camera, but that is like a bluish green ink on the Charmander. Um, I mean, centering is like really bad on this as well. Um, like absolutely horrible, but that's not, uh, you know, too far away from what Pokemon does themselves sometimes. The back does seem darker on the camera though, um, as if it would be a fake card. And they just, they feel so flimsy, but they have that third layer and that, you know, that modest black line that makes you think they're real, but I mean, that's, that, uh, that doesn't bend like I would, let me see. So this one... That one came out of um, Crimson Invasion. Crimson Invasion was also a booster box on the shelf of Target. So we're going to test this with a Sword and Shield card. I have a lot of stuff laying around next to me. Is that two Marac? Okay, no, the Mud Brain and the Maractus. Uh, let's see. The Quick Ball is from uh, Sword and Shield. So we'll give him a test. We're not going to rip it. I'm just going to give it like a nice um, stress test to like see and color check. Um, okay, so this card definitely looks fake. Like, it has glossiness on the side of it, um, opposed to... I mean, you can just see that on the camera, like how dark this card looks over here, the, the trim and everything compared to this one. Um, I don't like that. Like, it, like it, it just feels so flimsy of a card, you know? And this one is a little more sturdier. Like, this is the same amount of force being applied to the cards. That's the same amount of force. And if I give it like a little, like you can tell it's just given so much bend. So these actually might be really good fakes, to be honest. I don't like that in the least bit. Um, that is pretty upsetting. So uh, let me get my little fake thing over here, my little binder of fake cards. And let me show you what your like typical Chinese fakes look like. Uh, I put these in here just so I could like go over cards with people um, that would like be like, hey, you know, I have this card, you know, you think it's a fake. Um, I could use these as reference. Like this Charizard here. I mean, you can, like look at the back of these. I mean, you can clearly tell with these. Like, uh, I mean, it's, it's a pretty dead giveaway. And the holographic patterns in these fake ones are horrible. Like they're the same like rainbowish um, holographic and they're all like horrible printing like centering wise um, like that one like it's it's not just bad centering it's like crooked I mean like the printing is crooked on the card which is not something that happens a whole lot with Pokemon um, so that being said that's a little discerning and upsetting so I'm probably gonna finish off all these Dollar Tree packs just because I'd like to see some team up some breakpoint and some ancient origins and see if we can pull anything um, if those are fake cards, that's pretty upsetting that I got that from Target. As well with the Crimson Invasion and the Sword and Shield box. Uh, the Sword and Shield trainer box did have the Pokemon seal on it though, so that can't be replicated at least to my knowledge. So we have a Vulpix. Put that up there for my boy James. Not a crazy pull. My boy James was Vulpix, a Kakuna, and a Ponyard. So we'll get into this other team up. So super long video today guys. Sorry about that. Um, I normally try to keep it like decently short because people don't want to watch just a few packs get opened over the course of 20 minutes because it doesn't take, like if I were to not be doing this on camera, I mean I would be spending how long opening cards, you know, maybe 10 minutes. So we have a Blitzel, an Ingo and Emmett, and then, oh that's a nice Squirtle. Okay, so those are pretty, pretty decent. No pulls in that though, but uh, we'll get into the break points. Definitely a little upsetting about that trainer box. So I actually bought two of those trainer boxes um, from Target. And I don't believe I had any problems with the other one. So a Furfro, a Cricketune, okay, and a Reverse Growlithe. That is a nice reverse right there. Look at that uh, nice pattern in Breakpoint. Not a, not a crazy fan of XY cards, but um, I mean, they're still Pokemon cards, so I still love them. But uh, we'll get into some Ancient Origins. However, um, I spent five years in the Navy, and uh, on the ship, when X and Y came out, we actually had big Pokemon tournaments on the ship, like, uh, 
we would all go to the mess decks, which is just the place where you eat, like a kind of like a restaurant, I guess. Like it was, you know, tables and everything you eat at. It's called the mess decks. But um, so we would all have like Pokemon tournaments there with our with our X and Y and stuff out to sea and all that good stuff. So uh, we'll get into this. We'll have a Persian, Faded Town, and a Ball Toy. So nothing too crazy in the Dollar Tree, Dollar General uh, packs that we picked up. Um, so I know I'm rambling on just a little, you know, discerning that uh, those packs may be fake or resealed cards. So, but all right, guys, tune in tomorrow. Um, I'm putting, at this point, seven videos up a day, or a week, rather. A day would be pretty crazy. Um, so tune in if you guys want to keep seeing Pokemon openings. Um, I'd love to get the channel bigger so we can start affording to do like more stuff. Uh, I am at that age where base set stuff is uh, pretty crazy for me. Like I grew up with it. Um, I was four or five years old when it actually hit here in the States. Um, so I mean that's stuff I would love to get a hold of. So definitely the bigger the channel gets, the more I'm going to be doing that stuff. Because that's what I want to do is base set stuff. So, uh, if you guys want to see anything particular besides Burning Shadows, Sword and Shield, Crimson Invasion, Hidden Fates, and of course these two Japanese stacks here that I have, let me know in the comments and I will get those packs that you guys want to see, um, as long as they're, you know, they're like decently priced or especially if they're like newer packs like Sword and Shield and Burning Shadows, they're not crazy expensive. The booster boxes are like their typical price. Um, so just let me know and anything Japanese you guys want to see, I can get a hold of. Uh, I love the Japanese stuff, so I have no problem buying that stuff. Um, but... Again, leave your comments down below and let me know what you guys think about those cards. If they're fake or if they're just resealed. Um, so let me know your guys' uh, input on that. And you guys have a good Sunday. Alright, peace out guys.